You know, I was thinking, I need a good theme song. Who are these guys? It's my theme music. Every good hero should have some. No matter where we are. All right, y'all. So, Panama to Havana. I love seeing that ticket. So, we finally got to Havana. Me, Greg, and Steve-O. Steve-O, my main man right there. <laughs> enjoying himself. We all had a few drinks on the plane. Just enjoying the plane ride. Talking about Cuba. They were in first class. I was in cabin. But I still managed to get a couple of drinks in there. Thanks to my boy, Steve-O. We got it in, we got it in. Yeah, man, but the air, everything in Cuba was just smelling so fresh. It just was a great feeling, it was a good vibe. But the airport, there are no damn signs. You don't know anything. So you have to go over to anyone look like they're working there and say, donde salida? You know, where is the exit? I'm telling you, everything was a bit confusing. You know, the signs that they did have up were basically just for taxis. But no exit sign <laughs> saying I have to get out of the airport. And then we was looking for like some SIM cards because uh, we wanted to pick one up at the airport. So we couldn't find that either. We found it, or I found it, on my way leaving the airport, which did me absolutely no good. Uh, so it's, it's different. It is totally different. They do things a little bit different in Cuba. But it was cool. The people were so warm, so friendly, so humble. Oh, man, it was just a great time. Even in the airport, you know, people were very calm. It wasn't no rush, rush, rush. Uh, especially getting out, it was just, you know, everybody's just kind of following the pattern, doing their own thing. So that was cool. They actually crammed us into this cab. We asked for a van. And we all had bags, big bags, but I don't know how. But they found a way to squeeze it all in. We let Greg go in the front because he was the biggest, you know. I didn't want to, um, <laughs> I didn't want the, the man to have Charlie horses while we were in the cab ride all our way into town. The cab ride is actually about 25 minutes to 25 to 30 minutes. So it wasn't too bad. So we had a great conversation. Gave me a chance to do some vlogging and uh, just enjoy company uh, with the brothers, man. So it was a great trip. Uh, but getting out of that airport was even better, man. It's just seeing the different sights. Can't believe I'm in Cuba, man. Oh, my God. That is what's like, whew, that was, that was money for me. I'm going to tell you, absolute money.
All right, so we are at the place Steve O and Flip Flop staying, but um, we can't get in. All right, so after everybody finally got into their places, we decided, you know something, we'd meet up in the evening because everybody was a bit tired. First stop, man, you know it had to be Florida Dita when we met up. Steve and Flip was doing something earlier. I was getting some rest. But this spot, well, I'll let you see. some good music a whole lot of daiquiris it was time to switch it up but you know before i left i had to get my hemingway picture in i mean come on that's florida's that's the famous bar but wait till you see this next spot Alright, so this spot was called Fabrica de Arte. But after that, man, you know something? It was time to switch it up again. Let's find a late spot. Mm -hmm. 